Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave and today we're going to start our uh, playthrough of Zero Leader World War II Pacific Theater Solitaire Game by DVG, Dan Person Games. Uh, today what we're going to do is, so everybody kind of sees it on this first one, is this first video will just be the setup. So we're going to do a setup for the campaign I chose and then we'll um, start up and then we'll that be its own video and then after that we'll start the actual playthrough so this video was just going to be the setup and all the things that we're going to do for the setup here how we're going to earn things so i'm going to pick up my camera here a little bit and show you see if i can do this without messing everything up uh, we're going to play china 1941 it's an introductory scenario we're going to play the short campaign, so it is uh, five days. We get 16 SO points. If we do get any reinforcements during the game, they come in as average. Uh, that costs me uh, two SO points, so i got to save some for them. And my available aircraft types are right here. So the A5M Claude, the B5M Kate, the D3A Valve, the KI-27 Nate. KI-48 Lily, K-51 Sonya, KI-43 Oscar, and the G-3M Nell. And the planes we'll be going against are actually the Russians. The I-15, the I-16, the F-2A Buffalo, which would have been a Lynn lease plane for them. And their bomber is the SB-2. So that's, that's going to be the aircraft equipment that we're going to go against. Uh, you can see here that... Um, Victory point, evaluation, 21 or higher is great. Um, eight or lower is dismal, which hopefully we won't be there. Our recon will start with a one, so we're only gonna get one target to choose from on the very first mission. We have no intelligence yet. This is our dogfight board, which I can pick up and use um, during the game. So let me set the camera back down here. Oops. Kind of get it situated. Uh, for the game, a couple adjustments. Uh, first thing, one one thing we get, we get three of the maintenance crews. So we have to do maintenance on our aircraft after each mission. So depending on damage and those things, we have three maintenance crews. So we'll set these to the side. And as always, I always draw a random um, aircraft. I think that's the most fun for me. And so that's what I want to do. So in this little container, I have all those aircraft and their type, including aces uh, for my ace deck. So if I pull an ace, I'm going to use it. Um, as long as I have the SO points, I can afford him. If I pull one and I decide I can't afford him, then I'll replace him with whatever that type of aircraft is. And at that whatever level I pulled him at. Okay, so it kind of makes it fun to do it that way. On our player help sheet, it does tell us here for a short campaign in 1941 and 42, and we are in 1941 China. This is our skill set that we're going to get. One newbie, two green, three average, one skilled, one veteran. Okay, so we're going to draw. I'm going to lay them out in that order. So our first aircraft is a newbie, and it is going to be... Sakao. So he's our newbie. All right, then we need two green. The first one is Nakano. And the second one is, oh, it's an ace, Fuchida. We'll have to see what that does for us. Okay, now we get three average. Morita. Agari and the third plane is Nishimura. Okay, and now we get one skilled Shibata, and we get one 
veteran. Ogami. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, six, seven, eight. That's our aircraft. So I have to go through and I'll pick out the fighter cards, uh, the plane cards, and I'll set everything else aside. And then that'll give us our, our uh, planes to start with. And then we'll um, get ready to set that up and kind of position everything on the board and get kind of get ready to go there. And then we'll come back. Um, I am using the paper log uh, right now. I have a log, a computer log from Corsair Leader that I think I'll go in and modify and see if I can use it for this. But for this campaign, I'll use the paper log. So I'm not going to bore you with the tedious <laughs> setting up of that. I'll go through, um, put in all our points, see where we're at. And then from there, uh, we'll come back and then uh, we'll be ready to uh, get ready for the first uh, mission. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've uh, got everything logged in. And I'll show you the sheet. So, uh, China campaign, 1941, short campaign, five days. We start with 16 SOs. I drew that um, ace, so that, that's minus seven. Should put a minus by it so we know, minus seven. I didn't buy any skills. We're gonna see what happens if I don't. Uh, the optional rule for the uh, blind draw, uh, the random draw of the pilots gives me plus six. And I did buy uh, one Saki in case I need it. I spend that, all my pilots get back two stress points. So I might need that after a couple days <laughs> and get boys a little relief. But all that said, I end up with 12 SO points, which is what we'll start the first day with. Uh, the pilots, um, I have them in now. Uh, my newbie pilots, Sakao, uh, zero cool and, a, and a nothing on his negative. Um, so Nakama, Fuchida, uh, Marita, Figari, got everybody in there now. So I ended up with, let's see if I can show you here. I ended up with Sakao in a KI-43 Oscar. So he's a fighter pilot, but he's a newbie. So not very good. Got to get him some experience. We get him promoted. Hope that gets better. Hopefully can survive. Uh, Nishimura, who's average, he's in a A5M Claude, and Agari's in my Ki-27 Nate. So that's my three fighters out of my squadron. Everything else is a bomber. Uh, he's average. Uh, he's okay with his air-to-air, -air, which is what I need him on. Then we have uh, Fuchida, who's my ace. Uh, he's flying a B5M Kate. So, great air to ground. Uh, the uh, KI-84 Lily is another, uh, it's a twin engine bomber by Ogama. He's my veteran. He's very good too. Uh, Nakano in the NI, or sorry, KI-51 Sonya, another uh, bomber. So, he's good. Even as a green, he's good. Uh, Norita is in a D3A Val. Uh, he's okay. He's average. And then Shibata is also in a Val. And he's also, um, he's skilled. So, so there we have it. Um, I didn't buy, I got to put on the um, situational awareness and the um, spirit counter so I know who's got what. And then I think we'll be ready to start drawing and get ready to set up for the play the first uh, day of the campaign. Okay, so that's going to end this video. Uh, this was the setup. Hope you enjoyed it. It's kind of easy once you get used to it. It really goes a lot faster than that. Um, this was because it's a brand new game for me and I just got it out of the box last night. Kind of setting things up. Uh, once I have it on the table, then it doesn't take me long to go through this unless I change years and I got to kind of re-go through. On the um, enemy aircraft, uh, one of the things I had to do was go through 1942 and pick out the F-2A bandit counter. So I have all my enemy counters in here, all the 1941 Russian planes. 
and then um, and then I added to that the F2A Buffalo. So I'm all set there to draw and looks like we're all set up. I got my maintenance cruiser ready and this is where I'll mark everything when they come back in from their flights. So I'm going to keep them um, stacked over here. I think we're ready to go. So hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. And if you liked what I did, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I'll see you when we get ready to start the battle. Thanks.